So I'm going to show you how uh, MTPA works, maximum torque per amp. This is a test on a PV controller, 24 MOSFET, rated for 150 amp battery and up to 400, maybe 500 amps um, current, uh, motor current. So this is a new firmware and it allows to set up uh, a difference in LD and LQ inductance. So MTPA is basically injecting the negative current uh, to the phases to reduce the uh, back EMF and that allows us to get uh, more uh, current or more torque applying uh, about the same or more, a little bit more uh, current uh, allowing us to get more torque. So basically using more eff uh, efficiently the uh, FOC uh, algorithm. And also side effect of that is also we can operate at higher speeds above the base uh, speeds for the voltage of the battery. So right now we're looking at, uh, for this test, we're looking at 80 volts, somewhere around 80 volts. So without MTPA, enabled we are getting um, we're getting around 23 let's look at it so I'm using the motor that that is uh, loaded so it has some load attached to it and we're getting around 23,000 ERPM on 80 uh, volts so now what we can do is the, the largest number I used here and this is a by the way it's an IPM motor so we should be getting pretty good uh, results with it because um, MTPA and, and field weakening really works with the IPM motor where uh, the uh, inductance saliency is, is uh, high higher than in surface mount magnet motors so let's see I think the largest one I tested with was 40 and that's where it started uh, cogging and had a run runaway condition and overcurrent condition which this controller has protection against. So I'm going to try 30 and now it's a safe value and 30. Now we're going to spin this motor on the load. <laughs> Watch what happens. So we're getting around 27, almost 28 uh, km ERPM. And as you can see, if I keep on pushing the throttle, um, the, the current goes up a little bit here, but also RPM go up. So this can be uh, seen also here, right? So, so this is a so we get that bump over here. That's basically where that's what the uh, MTPA adds. Now, if we go and try to overdo this a little bit. 40. Let's see what happens. So we have a protection uh, triggering. You can see fault driver. So that's a hardware protection where it will detect the uh, overcurrent and shut off the uh, MOSFETs to, to prevent uh, a fire or short circuit basically damaging the MOSFETs. So what what are the things? Okay, we can actually see what happens here. So if you it doesn't always work, but let's try this again. As we can see here, it goes well beyond 400 amps here, and that's probably goes more than that actually we can see is 
can see faults here where I see where it goes. So current actually goes up all the way to 653 registering. That's why the fault is triggered. And that's because an RPM, by the way, at that happens in 29 or something K RPM. So uh, that's uh, that's a protection that triggers, and I can I can do the, this kind of test because there's a protection in place. Uh, so also, sometimes uh, so it actually has dual protection. One is uh, the software-based protection, where this once this value is exceeded, the the software will shut off the uh, MOSFET, so shut off the power stage. However, if something goes bad, the software is not functioning, or something re restarts, so something happens to the software, the hardware will also kick in, and that's really what's happening here. <coughs> so, right now, if you saw that ABS overcurrent, that software triggering, like right now, and then, and now driver triggering. So, either of those will will basically back up uh, each other and if one fails the other one will trigger so that's very important to have that uh, let's see what else we can show here so if we drop this value to less we will have less of a uh, MTP um, less effective so if we go it'll work but So really this is the, it's adding around 5 amps to the current consum consumed because it's uh, MTPA kicks in and injects currents. So this supposedly also uh, allows to have a more effective um, or more, more torque when you operate pretty much at any position of the throttle. Okay, that's all I wanted to show. The other thing is that I just want to mention this uh, detection works flawlessly now, so I can detect pretty much any motor and it, it consistently detects within one or two units, which are not uh, crucial, but so, and depends all also on the uh, motor uh, temperature, so it's better to detect it when it's cold. And, and we get consistent values here as well. Add a little bit more here and detect whole sensors. Good results. And it works. <coughs> With this motor, particular motor, I found that uh, probably 30 um, is a good value for the MTPA micro Henry. So, motor inductance difference LD or Q. So. <coughs> You can hear that. Ah. So sometimes it folds. So if it does, but that difference in the pitch really tells you that's how much it adds to the RPM. Uh, RPMs above the base uh, speed of the motor. And here you can also see <laughs> you can see that negative voltage is injected. You can see this voltage is injected here when the um, MTPA kicks in. <laughs> So that's uh, 
that's that additional um, speed or RPMs as the NTPA is adding. All right, that's all I have.